It would seem that, unlike my previous video about ceramic vegetables, making pottery in the form of fruit uh, did not begin as far back in time as did the veggie ones. However, as with the vegetable ones, some of the early English soft paste porcelain factories uh, produced tureens based on the shape of a melon, and then later, from the middle of the 19th century, the majolica makers produced some very lovely wares, and the pineapple, which was a fruit which had recently arrived in Europe, uh, was the preferred fruit that was widely reproduced uh, in several different forms. Take a look at these. These pieces are all majolica, meaning that they are earthenwares decorated with coloured glazes. The texture and leaf of the pineapple has challenged the potter to reproduce it and several variations can be detected. And I'm sure you will also agree that quite a variety of forms is shown here. Here we can see two variations on the treatment of the pineapple skin and two slightly different compotes by George Jones and uh, the plate looking down on it from above. And here are two uh, melon tureens. This one is made in the Chelsea factory uh, and this one was produced at Longton Hall, a melon on a leaf around about 1770. And here is one more example of a, a Turin based on the shape of a bunch of grapes uh, on a grape leaf stand. And I was able to ascertain that in China, lifelike fruit made in Chinese pottery was known as Xiwonware or Canton stoneware. Dating from the late 19th to the early 20th century, these pottery wares have a slightly coarse texture that lends an element of realism to the dimpled texture of the fruit itself. The overglaze enamel is also applied in a very naturalistic style. It is likely that these fruit sculptures were used as decoration or on altars to represent food offerings. And here are two examples. On the left is a peach, and on the right is a stylized pomegranate. And the, the leaves and stalk have been added on, and the, the, the texture of the pomegranate has also been applied. And now I'll show you several images of pottery that's been made in the form of fruit, and I'll comment where it seems to be appropriate. Uh, we begin with functional wares, then decorative wares, and then I should also add examples where fruit has been used as a decoration, either added in three-dimensional form, or painted on glaze, or in the majolica manner, as a decorative effect. Beginning with two very recognisable shapes, the rock melon and the watermelon, and the next two teapots, one is a strawberry teapot and an apple teapot. And here are two variations on the apple teapot. And coming up is a teapot based on the lemon and one on the right uh, based on the pineapple. The next two, the uh, a blackberry and a raspberry, I'm sure, are very, would be very difficult to clean. And the Limoges factory in France has produced these two, the banana and the pear teapot. And now some jugs, milk jugs and cream jugs, a peach jug and a pear jug, a strawberry jug and an orange jug. Here is a lemon pot, and on the right, a mandarin jug. Fancy that. Here are two centerpieces for decorating the table, uh, and some more, one with pomegranates on the left, and a basket of fruit on the right. 
The next two are using lemons as the basis of the decoration, as is this circular dish with lemons around the border, and I think the one with the apples looks very breakable. These two pieces I made myself during my pottery career. And now this tall Capitamonte piece uh, is uh, beside the interesting lady with the tutti frutti hat. And I wonder if she was uh, inspired by Carmen Miranda, that wonderful actress with the tutti frutti hat. Here is a jug and a vase which have been decorated in three dimensions using fruit. And uh, these two pieces are majolica, decorated or hand painted in the majolica fashion. And finally, uh, these pieces have been uh, painted with Anglaise enamels. Uh, the, one on the ones on the right are Royal Worcester. Thank you very much for watching this video.